Hello and uh, welcome. Yes, so there's been another new patch again, and so all the old replays again are. Uh, you can't show them to anyone, uh, so I just thought I would have a go. This is just a game from yesterday. I just got to check. Sometimes the volume is up for. Yeah, let's just reduce that, and then you can hear me a little bit better. So yeah, a game from. Last night, here's uh, Kadesh um, and myself as Zerg. I'm up against two Zergs, and I think it was the red is a diamond and the blue is gold. So, both pull first, that is usually a sign of aggression. And to be fair, it is in this game as well. Um, so myself, I do my standard Zerg vs Zerg opening. Yeah, uh, get plus one attack first, then get the speed going, because they both got the speed quickly. But to be fair, it doesn't mean much until they get the uh, the bane links. There they are. Okay, so here we see them come. Three minutes thirty. And they do another test. Let's just have a look at this. This is bad. You see, you, you old the, load the old replay, and the old options are not there anymore. So let's just get units. Uh, so 24 and 25. I've only got 20 links myself, but the key here is not to let too many die on a single vein. Then. So I'm not trading brilliantly there, but Blue does us a great favour here and explodes all of his veins at the same time. Here he doesn't quite get the surround. Uh, but it's enough to take the queen down, but my guy's in there in time. Now, yeah, I built uh, an emergency spine uh, just in case they got through, and it turns out to be worth it. I did also build a macro hatch because very often in these events you can find yourself stacking up a thousand minerals before you know it. You forget a couple of injects, and if we just have a look at them, it's 500 and 400. They're spending pretty well. Uh, you find if you have extra minerals, you can just build extra bainies. But so now, remember, I have the plus one attack. I now have seven worker lead, and they're getting similar numbers of zergs. But he's on zero zero. I'm on zero one. But I'm getting the armor now as well. I'm just trying to avoid the bainies because if I don't get hit by bainies, I trade really well. And it's a zero zero. They're not going for upgrades yet, but that's my counter attack scene too. Meanwhile, Kadesh has repaired. He's already got his stim, he's on the combat shield, building his second. And we supply drop on the front door. I never I never approve. Because that gets banging busted, it's double supply you've lost. Uh, he takes them on. It would have been good had I been there in time with him, but as you can see I move, but the silly old thing's shut, so I don't quite make it. But, you know, I see the banding, so I go, okay, I'm just going to get to your base. So here we go, there's that, that depot gone, and it's not quite supply locked in, but pretty jolly close. So he's got, Kadesh has got a bit of a fight for survival. He's down here. I'm unfortunately not paying too much attention to this, because I'm up here wanting to split my forces and... Rather than have them running around like that, I want to try and get as many attacking at the same time as possible. But I've now lost basically my natural, uh, all the other workers from it. But blue now has lost every single worker. Red has lost every single worker. And I've still got more links than them. So I don't want to lose any to larvae. And I just want to, to fight in close quarters so that he. Because I'm assuming that they're going to have more wings than me, I, I may be wrong in that. But so they don't get surrounded with me, I get surrounded with them, and I've got 1 1. And um, they got 0 0. There you see the upgrades. And the production. Blue, absolute man that's got, has spent all his money on, uh, on wings. Red, for his part, has actually built a couple of workers. Has a little bit of money in the bank. Oh uh, yeah, he's queued up five more. But basically, Blue's down to one base, and he has to get money from his partner to, to repopulate. 
And on the other side, you know, Kadesh has got his second. He did also go down to just about no workers. But I had my main untouched, mainly because of that spine scared him off. And so now I just start macro up. I know how far ahead we are. No, we just have a look now. He's up to 23 workers and 2, and I'm up to, to 39. So, I mean, it is true, we could just go and kill him. Yeah, and in fact, you know, for all intents and purposes, the game is over. In fact, he's just asking. So, I'm just doing times 8 now. Um, so, yeah, I'm getting lurkers. But I'm also thinking, okay, I, I might as well get um, Brugals. And so Blue, he just had a few soldiers. I knew that that was basically his entire army. So chased them off. I'm staying comfortably ahead on workers. Uh, 78 to their... It's a bit more now. To their 77. So 77. So I got as many workers as they have. Well, that's kind of changes, but... Here we go. I got the lurkers on the front door in case they come out. And now I have the Blue ones. Yeah, he could have muters and stuff, and if so, then I would build more. Um, I don't trade too badly here. I got micro away from ravages. Uh, when I say I don't trade too badly here, I don't think I'm. I think I do lose one in a bit. Yeah, this one. And surely that Hydra's going to kill this one. Yeah, I lose two. And there's the GGs. And he probably thought he wasn't as far behind as he was. But, um, yeah, that's that.